Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ha, Rakakwadash Ma'ama. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders. Double honors to my elder as well, Aharwan Banyasha Allah of the Lions Dan Camp. And salutations to the fellow Akim, Awafim, and children that believe in truth and in sincerity. It's your brother, I thank y'all back to another lesson, and Yahweh Ratazah is edifying. And as you can see on the screen here, um, I don't want to read the title, all right, but you can um, see it for yourself and read it for yourself, all right, um, uh, by the YouTube channel, all right, Lisa Haven, all right, and um, hey, you can see hey, she, to, to, the, to the eye, she looks like a, a possible Edomite, all right, but you never know, you know, she can be Irish or she can be Italian by way of her father, all right, because ultimately the, the man carries the seed. All right, and it ultimately comes down to who your father, 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 father is. You know, whether if he's a, a was an Israelite or not. All right, whether he came from the seed of of a in a bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, one of the twelve tribes. All right, whether being a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American. All right, as the Book of Jeremiah, chapter twelve, verse nine, um, states, you know, the Lord's heritage is unto him as a speckled bird. You know. Um, to loosely translate all right but that's neither here nor there you know but hey she can get it why can't y'all you know and that's pretty much gonna be the title of this vid video in regards to hey, these false prophets and these other abcd camps who still uh towing the line when it comes to revelations chapter 13 and verse 15 and how it's evident that it's the mark of the beast hey it's being the uh, rfid microchip all right, being the MOTB. And this is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, right? And he has power, all right? The world, hey, the world was given into the hand of the wicked, all right? So he has all the power, man, the financial might, the military might, all right? You know, uh, hey, the, hey, he's been given the blessing, man, the fatness of the earth. All right. And with the sword, he's able to gain, gain, gain the fatness of the earth, you know, in the dew of heaven. All right. And that's ultimately what it comes down to. All right. <clears throat> and that a hey, that image. It hey, being this system, man, you know, and ultimately is go a hey, that mark uh, referring to the uh, actual device being the, uh, the chip. All right. And is speaking and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right. Those who not go bow down to the system and go go and get that mark and receive that mark. All right. They're going to be uh, castrated out of the system. Verse 16. And he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, man. And, and there you go. You know, that's biblical prophecy, man. You know, uh, um, prophecy that's uh, a, on its way to being fulfilled. You know, so those who don't speak according to that, and they don't come in a word, a, the, the spirit of prophecy, man. And, and that clearly shows that the Lord is not dealing with them. You know, because a, those who receive that mark is going to be thrusted through with fire and brimstone. You know, according to uh, Revelation chapter 14, verse 9 and 10. You know. And those who are going and getting these devices, all right, ultimately go be met with uh with this. And this is Revelation chapter 16 and verse 2. And the first went and poured out his veil upon the earth, and they fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. You know, so it's gonna be a they're gonna get a grievous sore. You know, a, a, a cancer, you know. From there, I want to go to the book of Matthew. Chapter 13. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 13. And I'll start at verse, I'll start at verse uh, 13. Well, I'll start at verse 11. 
He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see and see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand, right? So hey, these other uh, camps like IUIC, ISUPK, all right, the GOCCs, hey, they don't, they're not coming in the spirit of prophecy, man. And, and it's coming at a time where hey, all your works are, is, is about to be weighed in a balance. And if you, if you didn't come in, in truth and in sincerity, or you, you, in a, you, you didn't come in the spirit of prophecy, all right, your, your works is, is about to be n null and void, man. You know, being a not accounted for, you know, un un uh, a, <laughs> is it gonna be not accounted for, man? You know, because it's coming down to a wait, who got the uh, the hundred percent truth, man, and that's a that starts with a the apostles of great millstone on down, man. You know, a those who coming in truth and in sincerity and preaching the hundred percent truth, you know. Like the various camps like ourselves, all right? You know, with the sound doctrine, man. You know? And ultimately, it comes down to a Revelations 13 and, and 15, all right? Through 17, all right? Being the mark, the MOTB, being the chip, all right? Karagma, you know, that, 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 that uh, incision that they want to put. And this is back in Matthew chapter 13, verse 14. And in them, it, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall, shall see, and shall not perceive. Man, right. And that's these false prophets, man. Those who wasn't given the gift of prophecy. Those who are, uh, hey, the Lord wasn't hey, ultimately de dealing with, you know. Those who were ultimately in the past, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, man, you know, the uh, overrighteous much. Those who was making the people uh, uh, heavy Latin come coming with their uh, their strange laws. All right. Coming out of their own own heart, their own vain opinion, you know, not according to what was written. Not was not according to what was being taught. All right. So, hey, when it comes down to uh, the HOIs, High Priest Sabak, all right, um, Bishop Nate of IUIC, you know, um, ISUPK, General Yohanna, all right, hey, they're, they're not prophets, man. Hey, the scriptures clearly says if a man, hey, hey, he, he, he speaks, all right, he prophesied, meaning to uh, say, all right, a hey, uh, sigh, meaning to speak, and pro, meaning before. All right, he say and foretells hey, what's going down before it goes down, man. And if it comes to pass, he's he's a prophet, man. He shows himself to be a prophet, all right? But if it doesn't come to pass, they're not a prophet, man. And all of them, hey, they're, uh, they're guilty of, of, of that strike, you know, off a, a lone uh, Bishop Nate of IUIC. June ain't no microchip, you know, he, hey, he, just, bit his, hey, he just bit his tongue on that, you know? Or the other one saying that it's spiritual when it's clearly it's clearly physical. All right, this devil this devil is a uh, uh, hey he's 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 fleshly man. He's physical. He's all physical. It's back in Matthew thirteen and fifteen. For this people heart is wax gross and their ears are dull of hearing. Right, these false prophets and two thirds of our people man, you know they're they're stiff necked. They have a, a, a hard head. In their eyes, they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes. Right. They don't want to see, you know, hey, they, they tell they, and they don't want to hear either and hear with their ears. Right. They tell you, uh, preach to us uh, smooth things, prophesy deceits, you know, and should understand with their heart. It should be converted and I should heal them right due to simplicity, 
You know, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his simplicity, man. You know, it's, it's in the Lord's will to heal them. All right. But they, they're they not going to heal, man, because they're going to be uh, drawn back into perdition due to the simple, the simple shit. You know, the carnal things. Verse 16, but bless are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. You know, right. You know, it's only been given to certain men. You know, he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. All right. You know, but hey, to the false prophets, man, he blinded their eyes, man. That goes to uh, the prayer of King David, man. You know, and this is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then Israel have not obtained which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. Right. The election have obtained it. You know, they're going to uh, uh, subscribe to this truth and hold it tight, you know, and, and, and ultimately a, a, a fight and endure until the end. You know, they're not going to be um, caught up in the dust and blinded, you know, like two thirds of our people. Verse eight, according as it is written, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah have given them the spirit of slumber. Right. Slumber. You know, they're in the dust. They sleep. They gonna be caught off guard, man. Dismayed like the heathen. Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. And David said, left their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Right. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always. Right. And bow down their back always. You go into that bow down. It means to a force them to transgress against you, you know, force them to transgress against the Lord, you know, the almighty power, man, because hey, the Lord wants to judge you, you know. You know, but hey, ultimately, hey, the Lord's sheep hear his voice, man. You know, and hey, if you, hey, <laughs> they don't hear the Lord's voice, man. They're not, they're not of his sheep, you know, because if they heard the Lord's voice, they'll understand clearly, all right, through the prophecies, hey, that is simple, man. Revelation 13, hey, being an MOTB is, 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 the, is, the, is, the, is, the, is the device, man. It's the chip, all right. And the pre, we believe that the precursor to that is what's um, going on now, all right? The software, all right, to the hardware, all right? But ultimately, hey, the Lord's sheep is going to hear his voice. This is 2 Ezra chapter 9, and I'll start at verse 18. And now when I prepared the world which was not yet made, even for them to dwell in that now live, no man spake against me. For then everyone obeyed. But now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed. Right. The wicked seed, man. Of Esau, Edom, man. And his, his, his witchcraft, his deceit, his, uh, and his deceit, man, his deception. All right. You know, the devil, Diablos, deceiver. All right. He comes with deception and lies. All right. You know, and ultimately that wine and that philosophy has stretched forth throughout all the four corners of the earth, the four hemispheres. All right. Because the earth is three dimensional, it's, it's not flat. All right. Sphere. All right. But that's a whole nother topic. But through his wine and his philosophy that he spread throughout the four uh, corners. All right. He, he. Hey, he, he's hey, he's he, he he has a, nothing but wickedness upon the earth, man. You know, majority of the people is is, is wicked. All right, you know, uh, including two thirds of our people. All right, hey, anyway, including these false prophets, man. These uh, false A B C D camps, man, like the I U I C S, the G O C C S, the I S U P K S, man. You know, the H O I S. All right, those who don't preach. The MOTB is the chip. All right. According to Revelations 13. And this is uh, 2 Ezra 9 and 19. For then everyone obeyed, but now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed. Right. They are their father, the devil, man. According to John 8 and 44. 
All right, all Israel is not of Israel. They're, they were among us, but they're not of us, you know, roughly paraphrasing. And and by a law which is unsearchable, rid themselves, right? They 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 add on to the to the scriptures and take away from the scriptures, man, and go out of their own vain hearts. All right, their own vain opinion. You know, not according to what's written, you know, and, and through the spirit. And, and ultimately falling in line in order of who the Lord's dealing with. You know, they 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 run off pride and, and, and not in truth and in sincerity, and they preach out of filthy lucre's sake. All right, they 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 handle the, the word of the Lord uh deceitfully. In 2 Ezra 9 and 20. So I considered the world and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were come into it. And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the custard and a plant of a great people. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. Let my grape be kept and my plant for which great labor have I made it perfect, man. And that's what hey, that's what he's doing now with the, uh, hey, the spiritual tabernacle of King David, man. Those who are in that solemn assembly, man, in that uh, that uh, that cosmos, you know, that particular arrangement, you know, that 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 one sound, you know, that one doctrine. All right. But unto the false prophets, man, we go get a uh, second Ezra chapter nine and verse five. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, right? The end is manifest, even even uh, Lisa Haven, Lisa Haven, all right, whether she's an Edomite or not, all right, she can see it, you know, the hey, people can see it, man. The Lord, who the Lord wants to see it, they can see it, man. And who the Lord don't want to see it, he, he clearly, he's clearly blinding them, man. You can see the, hey, the, the, the power of our Lord in just that. Where you even got people that know they're Israelites, but they don't see the MOTB being the chip, all right? According to Revelations 13, 15 on down, all right? Which is, hey, that's, you would think that's, that's, hey, that's crazy, man. But that's the power of our Lord, man. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and the power of that prayer of King David that we brought, brought out in Romans 9, I mean, Romans 11, verse 7, Salaki, all right? Khan. You know, back to her title and her video, man. She can see it, but hey, these false prophets and two-thirds of our people can't. All right, and it's back at second Ezra chapter 9 and verse. Hey, so hey, the 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 and verse 5. You know, hey, the the hey, it's a plain beginnings, all right. But the end is manifest, man. We're seeing that hey, we're in the end because it's being manifest due to the prophecies that's coming to pass. The the, the 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 chain of events that's going on throughout the uh, the world in the oink with many sense. Verse six. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Con. And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. Right. And that's what go, goes back to uh, what I stated earlier in, in, in regards to a uh, how everybody's works is is about to be a. Uh, is about to be weighed in the balance, man. You know? And by faith, whereby ye believe, man. Right. You know, because ultimately your faith is going to lead to works. You know, it's, 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 it work hand in hand. Shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land. And within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Right. But if your works are, are set up to be null and void. All right. You a uh, you are set up from the beginning to a uh, to, to be a null and void. man. You know, to, to be rejected. Ultimately, that was that was your lot, you know, because a uh, you was you was the uh, fake in the funk back then. All right. You know, uh, when the Lord saved you out of Egypt, as he saved all of Israel out of Egypt, you still had two thirds of our people. Worshiping idols and tents. All right. We have that same thing going on today. All right. 
all those who they scream Lord, Lord is not going to enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, roughly paraphrasing. You know. But I'm going to end off in the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 13 and verse 1. It will be a quick, quick, quick read. All right. Down to uh, verse 17. And Yahweh Ratazada's lesson was edifying. All right. And then hey, you shall know. All right. Through the spirit and hey, by trying the spirit. By the spirit, as the scriptures say, who the true prophets of the Lord are, man. Who come in the spirit of prophecy, man. Who come in in truth, you know, and in sincerity. All right. And this is uh, Ezekiel 13 and 1. <clears throat> and the words of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel <clears throat> that prophesy and say, Thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. Right. They have seen nothing, man. They prophesy out of their own spirit. They tell you what they think it is when it ain't. You know, and it, they, they try to make it fit scripture and it don't. Instead of just falling in line on who the Lord gave it to man you know yeah so what he may have came out with it first or they may have came out with it first and they may be teaching it first man all right that's who the lord is dealing with man fall in order man it's about salvation at the end of the day man you know verse three thus saith the lord yahweh bashim yahweh shai woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing O israel Thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. Con. Ye have not known. They have. Salakia. Ye have not gone up into the gaps. Neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel. Hey, even in the. Uh, even in Dora the Explorer. That's a damn show for the children. The, you know the kids. The adolescents. Hey, as the scriptures say man. Train up a child the way he shall go. Alright. I don't know too much about it. I know they got the, the little girl. She run through the, the little the forest with the, the fox, man. But the, hey, the, with the uh, she run through the little forest with a little monkey. But a fox up here, he come he come through and steal. You know, like these damn uh, false prophets, man. They come through and subvert whole houses, the scriptures say. I mean, that's the book of Titus. You know, it, it, all, all for filthy lucre's sake, man. You know, for pride, man. To steal, uh, uh, the, 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 try to steal the show from the Lord, man, like they the head honcho, man, when it's all about, it's all about just preaching the Lord's truth, you know, as it's written, so we can get up out of here, you know, not about one man being the top head honcho, you know, because at the end of the day, the Lord's go raise up the meek and, and the one that's lowly, and it ain't saying nothing in, 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 anyway, you know, because that's how the Lord deal with, man, he deal with the, the one who's in the contrite and, and, and meek and lowly spirit, man, you know? So they like the foxes in the desert, man. Verse 5, this is Ezekiel 13 and 5. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in battle in the day of the Lord. Right, they ain't out there week in and week out, you know, studying to show thyself approved. You know, really got the, the breakdowns and the mysteries and the understanding, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Lord. They winging it, you know, and they go be found. They go be found to be winging it. They go be caught with their pants down. Verse six, they have seen vanity and lying divination, saying the Lord saith and the Lord have not seen them, sent them. Salakia. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision? And have ye not spoken a lying divination? Whereas ye say the Lord saith it, albeit I have not spoken. Therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies. Therefore behold, I am against you, saith the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And my hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies. They shall not be in the assembly of my people. Neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel. Ne right, they're not going to be written in the book of life. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord, thy power. 
because even because they have seduced my people saying peace and there was no peace and one built up a wall and lo, others dabbed it with untempered mortar. Right. You know, even they congregation go be guilty, you know, because they, 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 they build in the wall. But even the, the congregation adding on and, and giving them giving them the juice to continue on in their madness and their folly. The hypocrisy. You got one man teaching the name of the Lord years ago, got one of the oldest videos in, on, 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 the, on, the, on, the, on the YouTube, teaching the name of the Lord in the Paleo Hebrew, the prototypical Hebrew, the Lashawan Kodash. And, and, and he's totally against it right now in this day and time. A double minded man. All right. But that's probably one of the biggest congregations in the, in, in the states, man, in the, in the neck, in the north, right here in the neck of our enemies, man, in the Americas, in Babylon. All right. Being IUIC. All right. Which that's madness. So they, they're dabbing it with untempered mortar, man. As the scriptures say, uh, the, 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 uh, the deceiver and the deceived are his, man, you know. Verse 11, say unto them which dabbed it with untempered mortar that it shall fall. There shall be an overflowing shower and ye, O great hailstone, shall fall and a stormy wind shall wind rend it. Right. You know, and that, and that judgment go come and it ain't going to be able to uh, to stand. It's not going to be sufficient because it's, it's not built on on a, a solid foundation. Man. It's not built on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, it's built on uh, lies and hypocrisy, untempered mortar, man. And you think of uh, 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 mortar, you think of concrete, all right, and, and, and concrete being set, all right, that sand mixing with the water hey, at the right temperature so it can, it can, it can harden and it can be a, a solid foundation, man. It can be, it can be brick, all right? But if it's, if it's not set, all right, if you got too much water, all right, it's just going to be a puddle, man. You know, if you, if you if you don't have if you got too much water and just a little bit of sand to create the concrete and you're not creating it, you're not. Hey, it's not in the balance. All right. You know, ultimately, it's not going to set, man. You know, it's, it's, it's the stormy wind going to be able to rend it, man. It's not built on a solid foundation, man. It's not built off that that chief cornerstone, man, being Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, which is the, hey, the spirit of prophecy, man. The spirit of hey, the spirit of our Lord is the spirit of prophecy, you know. So hey, ultimately, hey, that's the point. And Yahar Ratzazah, this lesson was edifying, and hey, hey, hopefully you understand that hey, is a hey, they're they're, hey, they're false false prophets, man. You know, in regards to these other camps, and if they're not coming in the spirit of truth and in the spirit of prophecy, hey, their their works are gonna be null and void, man. And those who listen to them as well. You know, in um, Habatha and Shalawam and DTA.